two years ago I posted this video, a complete guide on how to get your PSM1 Professional Scrum Master 1 by Scrum.org certificate, how to pass the exam, how to get 100%. This video was watched by close to 60,000 people, tons of positive comments, hundreds of people got their certificate because of this video. Today, I want to do an updated version, a complete guide on how to get 100% for the exam in under 24 hours. I want to ensure also that when you come to this video, you always get the latest information with regards to the certificate, with regards to the exam. So always check the pinned comment in this video to have the latest information with regards to the exam and certificate. Let's not waste any time. Let's first start with going through the details of the actual certificate and the exam. All the details with regards to the certificate and the exam come from the official website scrum.org. I left the link in the description of this video, but you just go online, Google or any search engine, type PSM1 Professional Scrum Master and the first link will usually be the link where you actually buy the exam, buy the license to go through exam and also get your certificate. This is the link that I've opened. We won't go through all of these. What I'm interested in right here is the details of the certificate. First, $200 per attempt. You get a single attempt. There's a way of getting multiple attempts. We'll go through this later. Second, passing score, 85%. Quite high. That's why this exam is considered difficult. Time limit. 60 minutes, you don't get more time. Number of questions, 80. The format, multiple choice, multiple answers, true or false. That's it. That's the details of the exam. Now, there's some recommended courses. Two courses that Scrum.org recommend. Applying Professional Scrum and Professional Scrum Master. I just had a look at the classes. It's around $1,500. Per class, that's a lot of money. Will these courses help? Yeah, but it's not required. We'll talk about this later, how to pass the exam, but it's not required. But still, if you take these courses, let's open one, one of them. If you take these courses, you get a free attempt, I believe. All participants completing the Applying Professional Scrum course or the other one will receive a password to attempt the PSM one. So even though you're paying $1,500, you're still saving in terms of paying for the other exam. And the cool part is that if you do the attempt within 15 days of receiving your password and do not score at least 85%, meaning that you failed, <laughs> you will be granted a second attempt at no additional cost. That's very important. And that might be the reason why you go through this course. But again, if you want to save money, I wouldn't go through this course, but more on that later. That's it. There's also the practice assessments, the open assessment that you can do. We're going to talk about that more later. Password has no expiration date, but valid for only one attempt. If you fail, 200 more dollars. Lifetime certification, different compared to a CSM, which you need to review a certified scrum master and that's it no annual fee required now what you have been waiting for how to pass the exam how to get 100 percent for the exam get your certificate in under 24 hours funny enough the advice i gave two years ago still stands some people will try to trick you make you believe that you need to do other things to pass the exam i don't think so my advice hasn't changed in two years it all starts with a source of truth, the Scrum Guide 2020, the latest version of a Scrum Guide. Now, the Scrum Guide is four years old, but it's still the latest version. I recommend reading the Scrum Guide to understand it at least five times, between five and 10 times. Read it, understand every word, every sentences. You really need to understand the Scrum Guide. That's the source of truth. All the information, all the questions you'll get during the exam come from the Scrum Guide 2020. The second thing you need to do, open assessments provided by Scrum.org. The actual exam that you need to take, they give you a platform where you can practice. Practice. Get 100% at least four times in a row, simply because this exam is a little bit easier than the final exam. So you need to get at least 100% four times in a row, five times between five and 10 <laughs> prior to taking the final exam. That's it, nothing else. Some people will tell you that you need to read other guides. You need to take this course. You need to watch this video, read this book, read this article. 
BS, complete BS. The only thing that you need to read, Scrum Guide 2020. All the other things might be good, might help, but might also confuse you. That's the problem. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing that your understanding of a Scrum framework, you're not an expert. So when you're reading this article, this book, watching this video, you don't really know if what you're reading or watching is valid or not. It might confuse you and it might make you pick an answer during the exam, which is not correct. So always go back to the source of truth, the Scrum Guide 2020. That's it. Don't overcomplicate this. Scrum Guide 2020, read it, understand it between five and 10 times. Take the open assessment 100% at least four times and you will be ready. That's it. That's the end of this video. Now, if you want some additional tips, additional things that you can do to prepare for the exam and what you should do during the exam, keep on watching. These tips will simply increase the chance of you getting 100% in under 24 hours. Why I say under 24 hours? Because you should be able to read the Scrum Guide at least four times and take the open assessment multiple times in under 24 hours. Tip number one, read all the answers. If you read a question, you read the first answer and you believe that it's the right answer. Do not pick it. No, read all the answers first and then you pick the one which you believe is the right answer. Don't make the mistake of picking the first one you see, even if you believe it's the right one. It might be the right one, but read all the answers first. Tip number two, obviously stable internet connection and it plays an environment without any distractions. Isolate yourself completely and ensure that you have a stable internet connection. Tip number three, be rested, fresh and focused. Maybe meditate a bit, do some breathing exercises five minutes prior to the exam. You know the stuff, you already did the practice exams, you know your scrum guide, you should be okay. During the exam, if you don't know the answer to a question, skip it. You can come back later. Do not waste time. There's a time restriction, right? So if you don't know something, skip it and you can return to this question later. Some people believe that because it's an open book, I will have time to check the scrum guide 2020. Nah, you won't have time to do that. It's stressful. There's a lot of questions, harder questions about the open assessment. You need to rely on what you know. That's why it's extremely important that you know the Scrum Guide 2020. Maybe you have a few seconds to check for one question or maybe two questions in the Scrum Guide, but you need to know the Scrum Guide 2020 because you won't know where to check if you don't know your Scrum Guide 2020. Extremely important. Again, read it. Read it to understand it multiple times. Most of the questions are short, but some are also long questions. It's extremely important that you read the question out loud, word after word. Understand every word. Ensure that you're not missing anything. Ensure that you're understanding the question. Do not rush to answer the question or read the answers. Understand the question first. Read the question out loud. If you do all these things and you know your scrum guide and you took the open assessments multiple times, pass, 100% multiple times in a row, you should be okay. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.